Hey guys, Jeremiah here to clarify the order of the catch straps. I want to start by saying you gotta love the internet. It's the one place where everybody's an expert and credentials don't matter. Well, I've got the credentials and I'm here to set the record straight. I want to start by saying I know what the Ferno manual says. Here's a manual of CAD model 125. The order of the straps is written on page 19, middle, bottom, legs, head, top. All right, I'm gonna tell you what I think about that. The order of the catch straps is middle, bottom, top, legs, head. The mnemonic that we typically use is my baby tastes like honey. Again, middle, bottom, top, legs, head. All right, and I'll explain the two reasons for that. One is standard spinal immobilization techniques can take away the patient's ability to protect their own airway, especially in an instance or situation where the patient vomits or uh, has blood coming from the airway. When that happens, your patient's at risk for aspiration. Right? Anyone who's ever suctioned knows how well a suction device actually works. Right? It's important that we always have somebody at the head securing their airway. Remember, no airway, no patient. Secondly, for anyone who's looking to pass the National Registry practical examination for spinal mobilization of the seated patient, you need to understand line 7 says you're going to secure the device to the patient's torso. Following that, it says you're going to secure the patient's head to the device. The head is secured after the torso. In addition, line five of critical criteria, it states head immobilized to the device before device sufficiently secured to the torso. All right, if you do not secure the head last, you are going to fail your national registry EMT station. Hope you found this video helpful or useful. If you did, please be sure to like my video, subscribe to our page, and remember, strap it on correctly. The cat.